everybody, Blind Bricks here, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite sets that I own, and it is the Lego Batman movie, Ultimate Batmobile. So you can see this large vehicle here is the Batmobile itself. You're probably thinking, whoa, that thing is crazy. Oops, this fell off. You're probably thinking, whoa, this thing is crazy. But there's a part of it that's even crazier. Side. So you put these down and fold these up. And guess what? It's a bat wing. So you're probably thinking, wait, what this thing? And this thing folds back and you pull this thing out and put this up and put these engine back things up. And that's a tank. And then see this, you put these engine thingies up, pull this out, and start thinking, whoa, it's a bat hovercraft, which I wish it was, but it's not it, a motorcycle. So, it's probably one of the coolest sets, just because it's so many vehicles. Oops, motorcycle fell over. Um, so yeah, let's start with the motorcycle, since it's the smallest thing. Um, like it better as a hovercraft, but you can like sort of make it a one wheeled kind of thing. And yeah, just throw in there. Um, nice build. I love these corner pieces. And then yeah, you get nice use of this like horse piece that they've been using for a while. And so yeah. Next up, let me move these over is the Batmobile. And it's pretty nice builds. I know for a fact from some other stuff that this stickers on the large, long, curvy pieces say Wreck Creational Vehicle, which is <laughs> ridiculous and I, I love it. More like wreck ridiculous. So yeah, um, Batman is sitting in here, you can kind of see him. Um, some controls, let me kind of show you there. Buttons, pretty hard to see. Um, I don't like that it's really open in the back, but that's just for the Batmobile, or Batgen, or something. And there are two stud shooters, just work with that, and there's train at the front. I wish it was a train piece, but it's a built-up thing because Legos do built-up things now. And these nice adjustable like wing back thingies are cool. And yeah, it's a nice build. Now, let's put this off to the side and look at one of the coolest ones, the tank. So you're probably thinking, oh, it's not the real Bat Tank. That's in the new Bat Cave that came out this summer. Well, it's another bat tank. It's actually the first bat tank. So, okay. Actually, it's the second bat tank, because, yeah. Um, nice figure down there. You'll see later when I talk about the characters. Um, there's control things, lights, like these flat one by one rounds of lights. Um, cannons or something, but they don't shoot. And then the actual cannon, which are just six stud shooters. And I don't really know how to fire them. You can kind of see how they work. They're essentially a bunch of stud shooters, but you turn them around really fast and they go everywhere. So I just kind of put my hands around them so that they don't really go everywhere. You can see me kind of doing that with all of these. Uh, nice built up side builds for both these parts. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. There's like this interior, and that's what was holding the bat gate or bat wing. Um, there's some swords, some battle rings, and then whatever this is. It's like some extra space or something. So, yeah, it's a really cool build. Um, and now we have the final vehicle in the set the bat wing. And it's a very small bat wing, it's like a scout vehicle, but angles or wings can angle up and down. And there's these like short 
hose pieces that are connecting these wing engine thingies. And there are some Off. This is a spring loader shooter. I really don't like them because they kind of go over. Prefer uh, plug pistols because you can throw them. Uh, there's another one on the other side. So go flat back here. Engine build. And there's a controls. Some background there. Yeah, so nice build. And so now we get on to the final build which is the bat signal that can turn up and down, can rotate. And there's a light brick so it can light up. And I'm going to turn the light off so you can see it much better. That looks a lot better. So yeah. Let's get on to the minifigures. So, I think probably my favorite character out of the good guys, if you can tell here, is probably that Alfred minifigure. Um, the hairy glasses thing for Robin right here, you can kind of see him right here. Um, I love the hair glasses. Uh, Batgirl's ponytail attachment. I think they do like some hair pieces with some of that. So that would be useful. Nice soft kind of cape on him. Like neckerchief piece. And then here's the best character. Batman. Yeah. Anyway, Batman is nothing special, as you can tell from my sarcasm. Um, and, oops. And, yeah, just normal Batman. Yay. But then, the real treat are the villains. So we get some flying monkeys, which are pretty cool. I love the new head mold, um, the new legs. It might be new. I don't know. Comment me if they're new. They're pretty cool. Tail mold is not new. I know that for a fact. Same with the other one. I think they have like, I don't know. I love that head mold. And then we get to we get to I'm just fell off here. We get to one set. However, there are four of Frozones in one minifigure box, so it's getting less exclusive, but, you know, it's a pretty cool piece. And then, just knock her off, too, we get the Wicked Witch of the West, who uh, has this nice cape uh, the kind of harder cape, so I like that. I uh, wish it was a hair hat combo. Actually, the scarecrows from the same wave of sets, where it's a hair hat combo with the black hat. That would have worked so well, but they just used the old hat. Oh, well, I guess they're trying to stick to, I don't know, whatever. Broom. And so, yeah. That was my review of this set. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.